Walt Disney, in 1938, takes a Mickey Mouse short and ends up inventing surround sound, ahead of its time by like 40 years. Fantasia was the first commercial movie in stereo, but it wasn't called stereo, it was called Fanta Sound. The budget for Sorcerer's Apprentice was getting out of control, so Disney decides to expand it into an animated feature like nobody would ever tried before. But when it comes to sound, movie theater speakers are in mono, and for Walt, they sound too weak for the massive scope of his masterpiece. So he does what Disney does best. He gets creative. And the Philadelphia Orchestra gets recorded on nine separate tracks with 33 microphones, which is bonkers at the time. But the catch is, in order to play it back in movie theaters, the theaters have to install a 54 speaker system, which some of them do. And in those, the people are so convinced that the thunder rolling from the back to the front of the theater is real that they duck in their seats. It was amazing, but most of the theaters backed down because of the money. Only 13 or so about got the upgrade before World War II hits and all budgets are slashed and Fantasia actually gets released, but in mono. Good news is they do win an Oscar for Fantasound, and it sets the framework for THX and Dolby. And even in mono, it still managed to scare the heck out of anybody in the theater under eight years old at the time.